Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads that determine the centroid y bar over the shaded area. This problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics uh, statics uh, 13th edition by RC Kebela. So our y bar is just equal to mathematically equal to uh, integral y count dA integral dA. Right, so you can either use the horizontal strip okay or you can use the vertical strip it's really up to you uh which strip am i going to use for me i'm finding this y bar i'm going to use the horizontal strip okay. for me i feel i think this is going to be much faster for me but uh, you can try the other one and see which one you think is faster so i'll go with uh, the horizontal strip it has a thickness dy it has thickness dy um what else and then we are interested also this information here what else this is our y count that's what we're interested in for now i think so these descriptions are enough for now uh we can just try and define this this is our dy okay This is our dy, this is our y count, which is just equal to y. Okay. Right. Let me do like so. Do like so. Alright, and then we do have this distance here. Uh this distance. Okay, maybe I, 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 I take the, I write this distance first. We do have this distance here. This one here. This one also is important for us. It will help us determine the area. Okay, let me clean it up also. Like so. All right, it is somewhere there. So this one here we say is equal to. So this one is equal to y count. This is equal to y. Then this one is just equal to x. Uh, this is x. Of course, you say the other side is negative. The other side is positive. The right side is positive. Positive. The other side is negative but for the area area is not like that so area is uh, always positive right okay so then our da our da becomes equal to our da da becomes equal to 2x times dy okay it's 2x times dy 2x times dy then we know that x here is equal to y divided by 2 and then this one to the power 1 over 2 which is just equal to y 1 over 2 and then this one root of Two. All right. Therefore, our da is equal to two root of two y to the power one over two uh, dy. All right. So with this information, we can straight away start solving. So y bar is just equal to integral uh, y count uh, da. 
divided by RDA. We are integrating along the vertical axis from 0 uh, to 2. Okay. So this just becomes as from 0 to 2. Our y count, we say this is just y. Our dA, we say this is equal to 2 divided by root of 2. Then we have y to the power half and then the dy. Then this is just divided by our dA, just 2 root of 2, y to the power half dy. So our y bar is just going to be equal to, if we evaluated this, uh, we'll have um, integral 0 to 2, 2 over root of 2, evaluate this just becomes um, y to the power 3 over 2, or dy, divided by integral 0 to 2, um, 2 over root of 2, y1 over 2, dy. Okay, so this is just going to be equal to 2, root of 2, y that's 5 divided by 2 divided by 5 over 2 of course evaluating this from 0 to 1 then everything divided by we are dividing everything by um 2 over root of 2 then y to the power 3 over 2 divided by this of course evaluating from 0 to 1 divided by 2 over mean 3 over 2 okay y bar therefore will just be equal to okay what is it so we are dividing this the two and the two cancels out then we just remain with two over uh, sorry this is to the power this is to the two we are evaluating this from not zero to one from zero to two zero to two okay so this just becomes two to the power uh two to the power uh, 2.5 divided by 5 over 2 then divided by we have 2 to the power 1.5 um, then divided by uh, 1.5 Okay. So this gives us a one point two and this is in meters. Okay. This is in meters. Okay, so we have two to the power uh two point five divided by two point five then divided by 2 to the power 1.5 then divided by 1.5 all right i think this is about it uh that's 1.2 yeah makes sense this is about it this is the value of y of course the x is just along this zero x bar is zero uh, there we go. So this is the final solution for this particular problem. So I hope this particular video was helpful and if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and sharing my channel. Bye-bye and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.